you know, considering it is toward the end of June, it is really a pleasant feeling night and a nice looking night too as we take a live look on the KAGS weather camera. And Dr. Weldon has sent us a brand new pollen count and it doesn't look too bad either. Grass is showing up in moderate levels. We expect that this time of year. Nettle is in uh, low levels. That's in the weed category. And mold spores also in moderate levels. Could certainly be worse, especially with all the rain we've had. Temperatures, because of the rain, were below average. Today our low this morning, 69. The high only 84 degrees. And Easterwood had a half an inch of rain. You can see that on the right side of the screen. Brings our yearly total to over 24 inches. We're over four inches above average. And other parts of the Brazos Valley did see rainfall amounts up to around two inches over in Carlos and about an inch and a half in the Caldwell area. 84 currently, or 84 was the high in BCS, got up to 88 in Brenham. Caldwell says 90 degrees, but it was 83 in Hearn, 84 in Madisonville and Navasota. And this evening temperatures have dipped into the mid upper 70s, even down to 70 in Hearn and Caldwell at Eastwood Airport, 75 degrees. The dew point 71, so it is humid, 87% relative humidity, winds out of the east southeast at 7. The humidity is going to stay with us, and we have one more disturbance that could trigger a few more showers tomorrow. The first disturbance, this dip in the jet stream pushing off to our east, but one more triggering some showers and thunderstorms in West Texas right now. After that disturbance passes us by tomorrow, high pressure should pump up out of Mexico over Texas and kind of shut down the rain chances and eat things up for the rest of the week. And then by this coming weekend, the high pressure is forecast to weaken a little bit, and that may bring some shower chances back. For now, though, we are looking for the activity out in West Texas to dissipate uh, before it gets to us. But with daytime heating and the disturbance producing that, moving across tomorrow, we could still see more showers and a few thunderstorms around the Brazos Valley. The forecast shows a big cluster off the upper Texas coast. That shouldn't reach us, but we still have a slight chance for more showers coming up on Wednesday before the high pressure kind of shuts the rain chances down for a couple of days. Tomorrow, starting out with a 20% chance of showers up to 40% of the afternoon, 83 at noontime and 88 at five o'clock. And then uh, after tomorrow's high of 89, we will likely top 90 degrees for the remainder of the forecast period. Up into the mid 90s, Thursday and Friday as rain chances drop off over the weekend with the return of a few showers, we may see the high temperatures back down to around 90 degrees, which once again is not too bad for late June.